Right now, ECU police are training to keep students and staff safe as many are away on spring break tonight. Police have been training to do drills and exercises all week, and today is the last day of all that. Our Chris Young is on the campus tonight, and Chris, we know police are preparing for active shooter scenarios. Well, Val, right behind me, ECU police officers are getting ready to start their final day of training. They'll be using non-lethal bullets like these to simulate real scenarios. This is a test of the East Carolina University's alert notification system. Before today, Captain Sutton tells me ECU police officers spent the week testing the speakers, taking practical classes, and combing over the campus, all to prepare for active shooter scenarios and other emergencies. It's something Captain Sutton says they do every year. We'll continue to, to um, train. Uh, we're trying to every year improve our training, trying to do more with our training. Um, this year, uh, we're training in two different locations. The locations being the library and student center. Captain Sutton tells me they don't usually get to use these buildings, but since most students and staff are away on spring break, it opened a window of opportunity. One ECU student tells me this effort doesn't go unnoticed. What better time to do it than spring break? Too. And I think I'm, I feel, I feel a little more secure, you know, knowing that. I mean, in the off chance that something happens, there are people who are prepared to, and they've been great too with sharing resources on what to do. Captain Sutton took me through the training officers have done all week, telling me about the classes and the exercises they've participated in. They've been in the student center and then they'll move over into the Joiner Library this evening and do active shooter scenario training. Captain Sutton even went into detail about what the officers will have to deal with during these drills. There's role players that they'll encounter that may need aid rendered. Um, they just may need to be evacuated from the building. They may need some type of first aid assistance. And then there's threats that they have to confront and deal with. The training exercises will continue until 10 tonight, and then tomorrow they will send out text alerts to make sure everything is in order. Live at ECU, I'm Chris Young with News 12.